Its tail sweeps across fine sand like Santa's footprints left behind on a snowy night. Slow, deliberate, ancient. This is an armored arthropod from deep time. It witnessed the rise of dinosaurs and it survived their extinction. If we could talk to it, it would probably have plenty of gossip about dinosaurs. For 450 million years, it has barely changed. Not because it is powerful, but because it is just good enough. People often assume it survived this long thanks to its 10 eyes, like a full surveillance system. But the truth is the opposite. It doesn't see the world clearly. And yet, this limitation helped scientists understand how vision works. Horseshoe crabs are extremely sensitive to edge contrast, a process called edge enhancement. By studying this, scientists learned how the human brain processes visual signals. This research earned the 1967 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. At the front of its shell are two central eyes, biological timekeepers that sense changes in light, telling day from night. Above them sits a third eye, two plus one, three ultraviolet navigation units. Even buried beneath shallow sand, they can still detect ultraviolet light. By reading the polarized light of the sun and the moon, the horseshoe crab finds its way. Near the mouth are two ventral eyes, often called landing radars. When waves flip it upside down, they help judge distance and obstacles to stand again. On the tail, three light sensors stand guard. When a predator's shadow passes overhead, they send an instant alarm to the brain. These ten eyes were never meant to admire the world. They exist for one reason only, to track the moon, the tides, and the moment of reproduction. It doesn't see the world. It sees only one question. Is now the time to be born? Each spring, during the full or new moon, when tides run highest, the signal is clear. Go home. They can smell the unique sediments and chemical signatures of the beach where they were born. This powerful homing instinct ensures the next generation is born in a place already proven by time, drifting thousands of miles just to return to that first beach. To it, the most beautiful Christmas tree in the world is the reed swaying along its home shore. Home has been the only coordinate for over 400 million years.